Okay, so out of all of my state of videos, this one means the most to me because it's about my favorite video game console of all time, that being the PlayStation 2 that was released in 2000. It's mainly my favorite console because of its library of games that are full of classics. So many that I'm not even going to start naming them because we will be here all day. I mean, if you don't like the PS2, you had to have been born in the early 2000s and never got to experience it. If you don't agree that it's the greatest of all time, then we can argue about it in the comments. Sony PlayStation 2 will be the biggest thing to come along since TV was invented. Let's fast forward to today and if you are someone that didn't experience the system, well, you can emulate the system today and you have a couple of ways to do so. So let's start off with PCSX2 the original OG PS2 emulator that continues to set the benchmark for PS2 emulation quality. Today, the emulator's compatibility is at over 98%. That means that almost every game ever released for the system is playable from start to finish, which is crazy. But then again, this emulator has been in development since 2002, so maybe it's not that crazy. Now I have really nothing negative to say about this emulator at all, and we really haven't got a huge update in 2025, but back in 2024, we got a big one. That was adding Vulkan API support, which resulted in up to 10 times performance improvement over previous versions. This upgrade has enabled smoother gameplay and higher frame rates, even for demanding titles. Also last year, there was a big update that supported new controller types, improved save state compression and enhanced debugging tools. And if you're a Linux user, well, PCSX2 has improved compatibility with modern Linux systems by enabling wayward support by default, giving you a seamless experience for Linux users. If you're on Mac, guess what, you can also get this emulator as well, and it runs really well on Apple Silicon, even the oldest M1 chips will give you a great experience. The emulator is well optimized to run on the weakest specs, but the newer your CPU plus the more cores you have, the smoother your gameplay will be. There will be reduced input lag, faster load times, and faster memory speed. The only downside to this emulator is that you will have to find your own BIOS file, which is required to run games, but these days, that's as easy as a quick Google search. Other than that, I mean, the emulator is near perfect. Now let's say you prefer to use a multi-system emulator such as RetroArch, and you want to use a PS2 core. Well, there is one called the LRPS2 core, which is a modified version of PCSX2 that allows you to experience PS2 games within RetroArch ecosystem. While earlier versions of LRPS2 faced performance and compatibility challenges, recent updates have addressed many of these issues, making it a good option for PS2 emulation within RetroArch. But if you want my personal opinion, I would still just use the standalone version of PCSX2 over this core. You can also integrate the standalone version of RPCS2 into RetroArch, that's if you don't want to use the LRPS2 core. There is another PlayStation 2 emulator that you may not be aware of called Play that is available for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android. Now, it's nice to have more than one option for a system, but Play is lagging way behind PCSX2 and the LRPS2 core. Play has a compatibility of 47% of games, which is almost halfway. The emulator also hasn't received an update in a while, but for what I know, it is still in development. For my mobile gamers, Android and iOS also have some options. Unfortunately on iOS, your only option is to use the Play emulator, which runs worse than it does on Android. But if you do decide to use it on Android, you will have a much better experience. Now if you want an even better experience on Android, then there is an emulator called Aether SX2 that has great compatibility and performance. And you have a lot of settings to play with, including graphics and save states. And if you have an Android device with a pretty powerful chipset, then you will be able to run games at full speed with no slowdowns giving you smooth gameplay. 
Also on the Play Store for Android, there is Damon PS2, which is another pretty good PS2 emulator, but you will have more issues with graphics, slowdowns, and glitches using Damon on lower end devices. The best of the best on mobile is Aether SX2. Sorry Apple users, you guys miss out on all the goodness. For Steam Deck and ROG Ally, these devices are powerful enough to run PCSX2 with a bit of graphic upscaling at full speed. Even Sony is using emulators these days as they use their own for PS Plus Premium for PS4 and PS5, but just like any emulator, they have experienced some technical issues but have quickly fixed them as well with patches. So as of 2025, PS2 emulation is in a good space with nearly every game being playable on PCSX2 with little to no issues affecting gameplay at all. The developers have really shown their dedication to this project, giving us the ability to relive classic PS2 titles on Linux, Macs, or PCs better than we ever could have imagined. If you need help getting PCSX2 set up on your device, then check out my setup guides in the description below.